Okay, while Nick's over there editing, getting another video to you guys, we were able to, unfortunately since the load was canceled, go over to Walmart because there's Walmart by. So we got some fresh chicken and should prep this before it. We got chicken breast tenderloins for a reduced price because they are going to expire soon so we figured we'd use them up real quick. And what I'm doing is I'm chopping them up with the shears that we have into little bite-sized pieces. And we've got some fresh carrots and we've got some more La Choy sweet and sour sauce. And then we're going to put it up in the Burton, ooh, Burton Road Pro portable stove. And we've got these, the... Reynolds oven bag turkey size was the only size we could get. So we're going to see how that works. Just kind of throw it all in there with the carrots and the chicken and the sauce and cook it up for a couple hours and see what happens. Alright guys, so I was thinking we got these oven bags at the store today. Only size we could find. There was only a couple left. Nowhere else had anything like crock pot or anything. And we're at a Walmart, yes. boys and girls. Because we forgot to tell you guys, we picked this up. The cooking in the cooking on the go. Recipes for the Burton stove. Which is also the Road Pro or anything. Or, a lunchbox know, oven. A lunchbox oven, basically. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this. People have been asking us if we've seen it. We finally grabbed it and we're testing things out. Let's just Making say. our own recipes. Um, so she suggests in her bark, Miss Virginia A. What's a burk? Burt. In her book. In her book. I'm tired. Her book that's missing a lot of... <laughs> I'm tired. Um, she says these oven bags in here. So, we got the large turkey ones. I'm probably going to cut it down. Which was the only there. one this turkey could find. You know, and then tie it off, put it in there, put everything in there, and... So let's do that. I've never seen a store without crock, with crock, without crock pot bags and or crock pot liners or they didn't even know where to right. find them. Yeah, it was just kind of crazy. So we're just make sure you cut the cut where the yeah cut, just cutting the top off just so it's not so long. So about worst part is you regret yeah. that later. Probably, and then it should I should be able to fit everything in here. Yeah. See. Get the chicken on the thing. Remember to knead it once it's in there with your flavor. Oh, it's, she doesn't use the word knead. She goes mush. 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 I mean, it's. She wants to do a little too much salt and pepper. It, you want what? Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Remember, smush it. Smush it, salt and pepper. Whatever that stupid <laughs> song. Smush it good. <laughs> I want the chicken off the and then what do you add? You said you're um, going to add seasonings? Yes. What are we going to do? There's some onion, probably. Some garlic. I'll pop a squirt of honey in there. So, just kind of... No vampire cheese. Yeah, yeah. No garlic. Y'all know if you've read the recipes, we type out at the bottom while I type out. About a teaspoon or however much you want, pretty much. And then I'm gonna throw some carrots in here. Probably we got the small bag. And carrots. I'm not gonna cut them down just because I wanna get this going, but I get the seasoning going a little bit. Now we've got the, the choy. That we used for one of our other pork yep. recipes. So we had about half a jar left. It's probably all it's going to need. You can use the choy or, you know, there's other brands and stuff out there as well. Plop that in there. Yeah, this oven bag is huge. bit of honey. If the camera shot sucks. I've been up since 8 o'clock the night before. <laughs> so, 
and I'm just mentally depressed because I lost a load. Yeah. I'm not working 600 miles. It's sad, so I'm gonna smush, smush it. Losing 600 miles is depressing. Yeah. So we're gonna make some magic. Especially when my dispatcher or driver manager goes, is everything okay? Anything you wanna discuss? It's like, good lord, here we go. Okay, so we got that all smushed. Carrots in there. Those tenders were about a pound of tenders that I cut up into chunks. More like nuggets. I'm assuming, I didn't read the instructions, I'm being a guy. I'm assuming these little thingies are to go around it. Mm -hmm. so, Put a little air in there. And then take it, grab it, spin it once. And that would be a viewer. <laughs> right, see ya. Seal it up like that. And she's cutting the bag in half. No, no. Really? Got some air in there. Maybe Got it not. sealed up. Got it, you know, so I can grab it later. It's gonna be hot. And should fit right on in there. I forgot to preheat it. You should always try to preheat it if you can. But I got it in there. We're gonna cook it up probably one to two hours, like the instruction in the book stated. Um, let's see here. Uh, I can't find it, but I believe it said one to two hours. Let's find it here. I think it's on this page. It's one of those socks. New pickup, 10 2 between 1500 and 1900. Why can't I not find the page for this? Anyway, so we're going to cook it up for one to two hours or however long mm -hmm. it goes. So, what are we doing, Sam? We're checking the chicken. I think you might have to rotate with your fingertips. Yeah. Bag might be hot. But I don't know if you can see. Let me zoom in. Don't. The chicken is turning white, so that's a good thing. Lift it up a little higher. I was checking that there's nothing stuck to the bottom. Nope. Okay. But I'll kind of turn it a little bit here. Do a little boiling bag yeah, shaky. I see some, still see some pink in some of the chicken. It's been about 45 minutes since I put it in there. So maybe the two hours should be okay. Would you, what else is in there? Carrots? Just carrots and sweet and sour sauce. And a little garlic, a little onion. Okay, well, mm -hmm. we'll give it another hour. Yeah, I know you did 45 already. But, but this okay. is this is how nice the actual stove stove, lunchbox yeah. stove is. All right, so we had the chicken in for an hour and 45 minutes. Probably a little bit longer just because I was making up rice and stuff. So, mm -hmm. hour and a half, two hours. And it's really good. You can't undo the plastic thingy? It was easier to snip it. So if it's the only one in the whole kit, then you're uh, screwed, right? No, there's another one. <laughs> and it smells and looks really good. You have to say the bags work very well. Yeah, but it... A buck and like a buck eight a bag. That's the thing, yeah. Oh, I got rice already made up. I'm using a slotted spoon just to let y'all know. Check it, but it, it looks good. It turned out really good.
Shut up. You want to do trip check? Shrimps on the Barbie? No shrimps on the Barbie. So what do we do? How are we doing this? Well, we take the parquet spread spray. Okay. And it makes it easy. You just spray it on the bread. And if you get tub butter, you can do this too. But yeah, or the squeeze. If Sam knows how to operate it. You get ahead of yourself. For me or it? And we got the other squeeze butter we could do too. Either or, we just, you know, it's... Yeah, we, we're going through cycles of what we're trying. Right, this is 44% vegetable oil spray and it seems to work really good. I know some people don't like to use certain things if it's only a certain percent because they don't feel, you know, taste. And it's all personal preference, really. And I do kind of take a knife and kind of make sure it's all spread. Really. And we're using the cool Tron griddle. Mm -hmm. Is it warm yet? It should be. Yeah, it's warm. And the thing with grilled cheese, you want to make sure the cheese is grilled. Maybe that. You want to make sure every, you know the whole bread is covered with the margarine or the butter. It's nice and warm. It took about ten minutes to heat it up. And then, of course, it's just like you would grilled cheese sandwiches. I find the um, sandwich square bread that we get at Walmart works great. If you get the ones that are, you know, the bread is a the little, hook. yeah, you kind of got to smush it in there, but it goes in there still. And then so we're going to throw our cheese on. I get the cheese out of the package. So 
like that. Be careful, it does it does give off a lot of heat. You don't want to burn your knuckles. And I speak from experience. Don't beat up on the cheese like that. <laughs> but I won't put it like completely. No. You can use any cheese. Yeah, any cheese. And then we are gonna throw a piece of honey ham on it. Technically, I think it makes it a melt as opposed to a grilled cheese, but we call it grilled cheese anyway. I usually just put it just one slice. Just one slice. You can, you know, to preference. If you like more meat or less cheese or no meat or whatever. But we just put one piece on. Seems to be enough. And then you put the tops on. It's all smushed in. And you close the top. Voila! It does get a little smushed though. Yeah. It's a grilled cheese. Yeah, you know, it's, it's the same as if you had a sandwich maker, which we. The panini to, thing or yeah. whatever the hell they are. It's, it's going to seal it. And, you know, you're going to have this effect of like a pocket sandwich as opposed to. Which we did have the pocket sandwich maker, but it broke before we even got to the truck. Yeah. It was shipped poorly. Yeah, shipped poorly. We haven't been able to find it on the road. This works, so we figured. Why, what the hell? Why do you? Know, why get another appliance? Why we get can't another appliance? <laughs> yeah. So, all right, we're just gonna let that grill up and go from there. Yeah. Whatever you want. Hey, right, it's been about 15 minutes. This is what they look like, and I actually like to flip them just so they get. It's been about 30, or 30 minutes. 13. 30 minutes. They're nice and golden brown. This is as much as they'll grow on the brown, but you can tell they're all. I'll the other side. Oh. So basically, you just take it and run with it. Yep. I flipped it about after about 15 minutes. I did rotate them a little bit. You just watch them, you know, every few minutes, check them or so. Make sure they're grilling evenly. Okay. Oh, that's grilled Dinner's cheese. Dinner's on. Yep. They have grapes besides the oranges. And they have oranges besides the like watermelons. They have watermelons like the Volkswagens. Everything just gigantic. Then this beautiful girl comes up to me. And she had this hair. The hair was like went down to the ground. Then it was up into the air.
Vegito and I approve of this message. Oh, come on! What the hell?